We've been tracking Hurricane Milton. There's been another storm, though, that's developed, but it's going to have better impacts. For more on that, I'll send it back into Caitlin. Let's start with why we're expecting to see the northern lights tonight. This is an image from NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory. It was taken earlier this morning of the sun. Now where you see those bright spots, those are little solar flares, but we saw a really big solar flare two nights ago, and that has prompted a coronal mass ejection. Basically, that means a whole lot of radiation is heading toward Earth. It is safe for us, but it'll interact with Earth's magnetic waves and create the northern lights. Now, this is a really powerful geomagnetic storm. Forecasters are expecting a G4 severe geomagnetic storm. So what that means is that's enough to cause power voltage issues. It can impact the power grid. FEMA has already been alerted that this may impact parts of North Carolina where they're really trying to recover from Helene, where they're already dealing with so many power issues, they might see a few more arise as a result of this geomagnetic storm tonight. It can also interfere with GPS interference, so that's another thing that you probably won't realize or recognize, but it can happen. What you'll most likely be interested in are the northern lights. They're going to be visible across parts of the United States. Now, the farther north you are, the closer you are to the Canadian border, the better luck you'll have, of course, at seeing the northern lights. So even if we can't see them here at home, I think we'll see some fantastic photos. But even through parts of New England over toward the Great Lakes and the Pacific Northwest, you should be able to see the northern lights with the naked eye. Now you see that yellow line draped right across the DMV. That's where we might be able to see the northern lights, likely only through a photograph. So your best bet for seeing them closer to home is getting your camera or your phone and taking a long exposure photo. Now if you're not familiar with how to do that, let's walk through it. We'll start by dropping the light so we can mimic what it's like to take a picture whenever you have those nighttime conditions. All right, now that the lights are off, we're also going to turn off this monitor to mimic nighttime. Now, when you go to take a picture outside in the dark, you'll see the option to take a nighttime photo. It's that icon you see in the top left hand corner of your screen. If you drop this down arrow and click on that icon, you have the option to make it go up to a maximum number of seconds. It should go up to around three or four, depending on how dark it is outside. Once you click take a photo, you've got to hold it still and it'll actually take that photo as if there's daylight. Now, of course, if you have a nicer camera, you might be able to get some higher quality photos, but oftentimes your iPhone is enough. We have a lot more information on our app and website on the best time to potentially see the northern lights and why we see solar storms like this. So check it out. Back to you.